All right. Here we're working on a 1970 Dodge Dart. And I'm going to be pulling these uh, wiper pivot seals out. Uh, because they leak really bad. They leak real bad. It's a mess. But I've come across something that uh, is a problem. Uh, you got to get this instrument cluster out. And uh, it is a bitch. I mean, it is a bitch. Really bad. Because what happens is, from the factory... Uh, that thing is just a very hard thing to get out. Uh, the wiring is is just a problem. And I've seen uh, people asking on the internet, how do you get the instrument cluster out on one of these cars? And uh, it is not easy. But I've done it twice now. And I, the first time, I ended up breaking the circuit boards uh, behind the, the instrument cluster because you, the wiring is just... It just, I don't know, it, it acts like it's not long enough. You, you, it just, it, this probably was the biggest one, the short, I mean, look at that. That's as far as it goes. That's about where it plugs in, right there. And it won't come out any more than that. And that's a big problem. So I had to go up underneath there, under the dash, and I had to, and that's how I got it out. I unplugged it, where the first time I did it, which was on a 69 dart, uh, I didn't do that first. Uh, I just got frustrated and yanked on it and ended up breaking these circuit boards back here. But on this car, I didn't break them. But I see here, somebody has replaced them already. So I think they already did. They already broke them. And there's a company right there that uh, redoes these. So, And I found another one in Arizona, I think it was, that does them. But the problem is... This thing under here, you see that? Can you see that thing? That is in your way. That speedometer, I guess the guts to the speedometer is right in there. And it has to it has to come over top of this. And so yeah, that you can see how narrow all this is and it is it just doesn't want to come out. Plus you got these short wires. Um you know, and, and these two have to be undone, but you can do that once you flip the thing over, uh, but you got to undo the steering column to get to do that. That's the first thing to do is the steering column. And right here is the wiper pivot. Now I can get to that now. Now I can get to it. And there's, of course, the one that's on this side is going to be going through the glove box and that's a piece of cake, but I just wanted to say for somebody that uh, is trying to do this, um, it's it's a bitch, uh, you know. But if you can get that instrument cluster out of your way, um, I don't know if the square ones like the 72 dusters and those have a little different, they're quite a bit different instrument cluster, but this rectangular uh, one that's in these 68s and 69 and 70 darts. I'm not sure how many years they did that. Maybe up to 71 and 2 is the same. I don't know. But it's it's hard because of the way they made that thing. But that's what you do. You got to go up under there and unplug the dash first. Well, first drop the steering column or whichever one you want to do first. For me, I drop the steering column. Then I unplug the dash and then I rolled the whole cluster out of there, but it still wasn't easy. The dash actually is uh, cut a little narrow. I don't know that they just did it that way. It's frustrating, and I didn't want to show this. Uh, it can't hold the phone here, and and do that at the same time. And plus, you don't want to hear all my cussing and yelling and all that mess. Because <laughs> I mean, there was some of that. Uh, but anyway, so you don't have to break the dash. I just, I just wanted to uh, show you how to get that out. There's no videos on pulling that dash out of these cars. There's nothing. There's a heater box replacement, and 
people to show you how to replace the wiper seals after the dashes are apart. And I see the threads and people commenting, well, how did you get that out of there? How'd you get that instrument cluster out? That's how you do it. This is my second time. I, I've figured out a little better than my first one where I did break those little circuit boards. But if you break them, you can replace them. There's companies that make them. Anyway, so if anybody's curious, uh, that's what that's the deal. All righty then. Uh, that's uh, eh, sorry. I guess you don't want to see all this other crap around here. Uh, there you go. Uh, good luck. Take your time, and that's how you do it.